folks, and I'm here today to go over the Rotten Tomato scores for Red Notice, starring Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and Gal Gadot, and had a big red carpet event hosted by Netflix in the early hours of this morning, but yours truly was fast asleep because, you know what, I wake up, these things are still here, I can react to them there and then. But you know what? I wanted to touch upon this quick fan question that someone called Shivani asked Dwayne when he's on stage, who I think is getting a bit over a sore throat or something. He's a bit like, Ugh. So without further ado, let me, just, let me just hear what he has to say and then I'll give you my thoughts after. Well, tonight it's about the fans and we have some fan questions. The first one comes from Shivani. Shivani, where are you from? Honestly, Hi, this looks um, like a really Shivani embarrassing event. India. I wouldn't want to be oh, here. Yeah. Hello, yeah. welcome. Thank you. She What's came from question, India, man. Shivani? Wow. So I wanted to ask you, um, if you had to work with Ryan and Gal again, what genre would you choose to work with them? Yes. Oh, that's a great question. So if I had to work with Ryan Reynolds or uh, Gal Gadot, uh, one more time, what genre of movies would I choose to work? Well, number one, I would do a sequel to Red Notice with them. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And when you guys see the movie, you'll understand. Um, and then what I would figure, you know, since I'm Black Adam. <laughs> Don't stop reminding us, dude. We know you are. And Ryan Reynolds, of course, is Deadpool. Yeah, Merc with the mouth. And Gaul is the one and only Wonder Woman. So it feels like there's a way to maybe converge the universes, right? Between DC and Marvel. Yeah, do you know what I love about that? He's really pushing hard for Marvel and DC to actually get together and make a gigantic superhero movie. Oh, I would love that. You know what? It probably will never happen in my lifetime. Probably want to get to about 85, it will suddenly happen. But the only one, now look, I'm living in a cuckoo land when I say this, but if it were to happen, well, you know at the moment, Marvel are counter-suing the estate holders for IPs such as Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and I can't think what else there is, but can you imagine, now this is my take, right? If the estate holders actually won against Disney and Marvel, they should then go up to DC and say, you know that crossover film you wanted to make? Here are our characters. Do that. And you know, it can happen. I reckon it can. Obviously a lot of legal wrangling will have to be undone. Licensing, who gets star billing, whatever. I think at that stage, nobody's gonna care who's actually the star of the film. Like who's name is it Marvel or DC that presides over the opening credits or, the, of the, or the, the credits or the poster. It'll just be whatever. And I would love to see that. But you know what? You know, he mentions Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Now for me, if you were going to recall, you know, who they should have cast, right? There's only two people I think that could have played that role better than Gal. I would have said Hayley Atwell, perfect. No complaints from me there. Or Salma Hayek, even Salma Hayek as an older Wonder Woman. Give me that. Give me those two ladies all day, every day, man, as Wonder Woman. And what I would do, I would get, like in Hayley Atwell's case, I would get her fighting somebody like Lobo, because we haven't seen someone like him before. He will be perfect because he's like, he's a pig, he's a sexist. And I just, that's the kind of thing to get Hayley Atwell's Wonder Woman really angry and riled up. That would be a fantastic on-screen battle. That would be awesome. Warner Brothers, DC, they won't try and ever do anything like that to really please the cinema goers at the moment. Everything at the moment in Hollywood is just, oh God, they're just, get, they're just sending out the wrong messages. I would love to see that version. Or somebody like a super powered male that can just take on Wonder Woman. And, and it's not a message about, oh, well, love conquered the day. No, my muscles and my beauty conquer the day, not anything else. That's the message I want to see. So, you know, look, now the reason why I'm actually here today, folks, I wanted to go over to the Rotten Tomato scores for Red Notice. Like I said, it just had its premiere last night. And now the thing is they haven't marketed this film very well in terms of where you can watch it because I've been sending my reactions. You can, you know, react to this on the, you can watch it on the 12th of November, but it's actually being released tomorrow on the 5th. Now, unfortunately, cinemas around my way don't seem to be showing it, which is very, very odd. Like, Cineworld, what the hell are you guys doing? You're re-releasing Harry Potter movies, which everybody's got on physical Blu-ray now. What about 
you know, bringing in Red Notice. It makes no sense. So if I really, really want to see this film, I'll probably have to go into town on Sunday or maybe tomorrow and check it out. So based on these five ratings uh, today, um, I'm going to start off with someone I think she's just awful. Uh, she calls herself Mama's Geeky. If you look at her channel, when she started out, she wasn't doing anything like geek reviews. She was actually being a mom at home. But I find her takes on a lot of things just very putrid. You know, she was even bawling and moaning the other day about why people so against the Eternals. What she's concerned about is, is getting invites to these press events. That's what it is. So I will read hers out in the fairness of reading out. So Reynolds and Johnson have great comedic chemistry, but Godot never really finds her footing. That said, this movie is a lot of fun thanks to the action and buddy comedy feel. Okay, now the one thing I might agree with her on this one is Gal Gadot because yes, she is an actress of limited abilities. Again, if you watch the Fast and Furious films where she plays, who does she play again? Oh my God, it's something about, is it Gabrielle? Giselle, Giselle, that's it. You know, she looks great, she does the action pretty good, but she's not convincing as that character. You needed somebody else to kind of fill that, those boots. Ian Sandwell from The Digital Spy, the final product never quite lives up to that powerhouse trio. What should be a rollicking round the world adventure turns into a dull trudge. Oh, that's a shame, okay. Uh, the film is a lifeless pistache of various blockbuster action movie styles from the past four decades. What's wrong with that? That's what we should have. That's what people are actually asking more of these days. We want to see that blockbuster kind of cheesy action feel again. I, for God's sake, want to see that again. You know, since the superhero genre just came onto the scene, it's kind of torpedoed everything that we used to love going to the cinema for. Uh, Danielle Salzman of Soulsy at the Movies. Uh, it, Red Notice is a globe-trotting affair on par with Mission Impossible, James Bond, and Indiana Jones. Okay, that's interesting. And the final one is Sean O'Connell from Cinema Blend. Now, out of all of these, I'll probably say Cinema Blend and maybe Digital Spy are really like the legit ones to pay attention to. Red Notice ends up being far more fun and exciting than you might expect heading into it. Now, that's a really good call to arms there. I like that. It's one hour and 57 minutes. Rawson Marshall Thurber. I got their name wrong the last time. I don't know. I think he or oh, I think they were there last night at the uh, premiere. So I haven't actually watched it all. It's, it's quite, it's like over an hour and 20 minutes. So I may check it out at some point and just go over a few things. But guys, are you excited for Red Notice? I am. I enjoy the trailer reactions very much. And I don't care that it's a, a, a pistache or recycled. What is original in Hollywood these days, guys? Nothing. So why don't you recycle something and put a fresh angle, a fresh spin on it? So, folks, I've got two more videos coming up after this one today. If you enjoyed what you saw today, think about maybe subscribing. Think about maybe liking. And maybe think about punching me in the face the next time you see me on the street. Like and subscribe or get your nuts Krogan crushed with Jason King.